Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Borderlands. We're here in the T-Bone Junction, and we're going to be teleporting to the final mission here. Or the final DLC. So this one, I believe, is just like a wave-based kind of thing, so it's not even going to be that crazy. So we'll see. We're at the outpost, the Underdome. Here's the cutscene. Okay, so that's weird, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've got, oh, oh, that's interesting, bank upgrades, I didn't know you could buy those in here, that's cool, does that mean there is actually a bank in here, then, an upgraded, oh, okay, I just never upgraded that one. Cool, so where are we supposed to be going? Oh, there is a bank. Sweet, so we can just... There. We can put a bunch of stuff in the bank. I want to get through there, though. I wonder if there's a way to open all this chest. How much money do we have? We don't have enough for that, so we'll just bank that stuff for right now. Let's head down here and see what uh, what missions we got. Prove yourself. Five rounds in each Colise or Coliseum. So we'll give this a shot. I don't think I'm going to finish this one. Like, this is... It's, again, more just random fighting. So just like if it's going to be a lot of fighting, ah, I think we should just start a new game. But we're going to give it a shot. And we will see what's going on. Minus four enemy health, minus six and damage, and minus something shield. So are we on round two or are we still on round one? What is that thing? What does this do over here? Come on. There we go. Just gonna chuck a nade up there because I want to see what this does. Oh, it teleports us back to the top. Come on. Nicely done. Nice Wave completed supply drop. Oh geez, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, ammo. That's cool. That is cool. What is gun wave? Can we snipe him? 
No, my mouse is too sensitive. Uh, I gotta hit it. So does gun wave mean that everything has a gun? Is that where we're going with this? Guess we should probably go... Oh, there you are. So I don't know where you shoot me from. Okay, and then we gotta go down this way, I think. Find more guys. There you go. I'm gonna take out this guy for the last skill in this round. There we go. Supply drop incoming. like the zombie round. It's probably so much nicer if you had like a decent skill like I don't know Roland's or something. Why don't I have a shield? I <laughs> just noticed that. <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to be running in a arena without a shield. Got my shield regen, please. Oh, managed to get away. I thought they would chase me through, but apparently not. Come on, you. Wave complete. So that's... A little ridiculous because I don't know whether you noticed here, but... Yeah, so this is still round one. It's still round one. What? Who's shooting stuff at me? Like, what is dropping from the sky? Kind of crazy monsters up here. Oh, guardians. Okay, so we don't do any damage to them with that. How does this do? Does that do alright? No, that does not do alright. Um, what other weapons do we have? Oh, I put all of my weapons away. Oops. Get a blast sniper out. The glorious havoc. These guys have no health once they get their um, shield gone, though, remember? So, that's all we're trying to do is get rid of that shield. Where are you? You're the guy causing us problems right now. And you need to calm down, sir, because you're doing a lot of damage. Alright. Managed to get that guy trapped pretty good.
Boss wave. His shield is terrible. Oh, this guy is... Yeah, we got an E-Tech weapon from him. Oh, he hit me with that. Ouch. That hurt. Come on. Come on. go like I should be dead we can start focusing on this Lance Royal Guard because they do more damage than Mr. McLeod and they're you can't dodge their bullets his you can at least dodge Have to strafe. So what do you gotta do? Got he. Okay, now what? All right. Completed the first round. But we gotta do four more of these. Yeah, so this is going to be ridiculous. We're definitely not finishing this DLC, but we'll play it for the rest of the episode. And uh, that's probably going to do it for this series. So, let me know if you guys enjoyed this series. And uh, I know there was some quite good feedback on this, this series. So, um, I think next we're going to jump into maybe a... PlayStation game because I now have the setup to record all that so I believe we're going to jump right into Rise of the Tomb Raider which is the new Tomb Raider game I just got it today so we're going to jump into that see if we can complete that fairly quickly um, I really enjoyed Tomb Raider which I didn't quite finish I did start it anybody who's been around since the beginning would know that I did start playing it on this channel and then uh, it ended up, yeah, my computer did not like it for some reason. So I bought it again on PlayStation and I managed to get through it and it was loads of fun. I don't know where these bad guys are. Are they up here maybe? Yeah, it's loads of fun. Really good game. So I'm hoping that Rise of the Tomb Raider is in a similar level. If you want to see Borderlands 2, make sure you leave lots of love and let me know. That's the only way I know what you guys want to see is if you let me know. Because I can't read your mind. I don't know what you look like. Okay, so what do you got this one? Players have no shields but gain slow health regen. Oh, man. This is kind of cool though. It is, it's a cool idea and it would be fun with four people, but it's not exactly entertaining for people to watch. I'm gonna check that up there.
This is hard. Without the without shields, this is really this is really difficult. And it's like I love the atmosphere. They made it so that it really feels like an arena. Everybody's chanting your name and all this stuff and supply drops fall on your head. And I love when they fall that close to you that you don't have to move. It's always nice. Okay, so what's this one? All enemies take reduced damage. Dang. So now we have to do more damage to the enemies. I'm going to stand right here and try and fight them off. That's what I'm going to do against the Horde Wave. Come on. Come see me. Wave has been completed. Okay, I see lots of health. Where's the supply drops? Oh, they're there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But this is the tough wave. Oh, you, you lose health quick. Jeez. Come on, come on. Here we go, we maxed our health out again. Get another one down. Let's take this guy out quick. go where are the rest of the guys come on come on our health is running out there's some health on the ground there that we can pick up um okay yeah we do have some guys over here and final guy is behind this thingy there we go Round has been completed. What's our next thing to finish off this this round here? Oh, it's just the boss wave. There's no special thing for it. Jeez. I need to back up. I need some space. Set that guy on fire so he's a little bit lower. There we go. Round two has been completed. So, that's it. This with this DLC is it's kind of cool, as I said, but it's you know when you're solo, it's 
it gets a little boring. I want a diamond pony. Name it Butt Stallion. I don't know whether anybody gets that reference. Rocket launchers do a bonus damage. Ooh, I got a rocket launcher. Let's throw her on just for fun. Welcome to Average. That rocket launcher thing is a waste of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. There is still a couple missions that um, we could possibly do, like complete this Medal of Duty, which is it's just another one of these missions. You will die, Cromorax. Maybe at a future point I will download a character. If you want to see me kill Cromorax, let me know, because I can just download a level 61 character and we'll give it a shot. Um... I'm going to leave this one just so I can loot if I feel like it, but all we have to do is loot. And then Brains is just a collection quest. This is just a collection quest, and this is going to be ridiculous. So, we have to complete five rounds in each Colosseum. It's taken me 20 minutes to do two rounds in this one Colosseum. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Love this game. If you haven't picked it up yet, make sure you pick it up. It's a fantastic game. And uh, I'll see you in Tomb Raider as our next series. So if you're excited for that, let me know. And I will catch you in a video very, very soon. Bye-bye.